not Tone Bone. No, you're not. Tone, he's I'm Tone Bone. bone. This and is... I'm Pablo Gunner. All right. Well, we <laughs> want to switch. Pablo I'm Gunner. Okay. Pablo Gunner and Tone Bone. And we're here to talk foodie to you about what the, this this thing right here? Szechuan. 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 Szechuan sauce. We're gonna get riggedy, riggedy wrecked That's on. Right. Some Szechuan sauce. We're gonna get we're gonna get all up squanched on this, all right? Because of because of Rick and Morty made it such a huge thing. It's such a huge fiasco. We've talked about this on our 3 a.m. reviews podcast. I think the last one actually that we did. The last one, yes. So the, the, Rick and Rick and Books. The, this is what it's called. The uh, cultural significance now that yeah, Rick and Morty has that it's implanted. this big that McDonald's has brought back right. the Szechuan sauce. No, and the interesting thing about that. Um, I'm sure we all remember back was it what October, November, something like that. That McDonald's released it in limited quantities at limited stores, just to throw it out there and have some fun uh, with the release of their uh, what is it the uh, buttermilk strips here, um, and that's what it originally was to go with. So, but each store like there was only like 200 stores, 100 stores, and each store only got 20 packets. That's not I, I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, they, I, I with... went to uh, Bernaleño to get some, and mm -hmm. they were like, oh, no, we have the spicy sauce. <laughs> and I'm like, of course you would, because you're Bernaleño, you know what I mean? Yes. And they're like, you have to go to Rio Rancho to do that, oh, you know? And then and then I found out that I, I hit up JD, and he's like, nope, there's none there. Yeah. So we had, like, our whole, we had a team <laughs> looking for Szechuan sauce, and it was not working out. Yeah. So... And it was funny because they actually got it, the creators, they got like a tub. A jug, yeah. Yeah, of, of the Szechuan sauce. And you said they sold it? Uh, there was two other container giant jugs uh, given out to super fans okay. uh, through McDonald's Twitter. Now, um, two of them. One of them was sold on eBay for $15,000. Pablo, take a guess at uh, who the lucky recipient of that was. Uh, I'm just somebody who's a hardcore fan of you know, of, of Rick and Morty of or Rick and Morty? Rick and Morty. Does, 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 does this help? Mouse. Oh, Disney. Disney did. No. <laughs> Dead Mouse. Come on. Oh, is I don't right I don't listen here to, in front of him. I don't listen yeah. to music. Is it music? I, I, or they I, just I, think, I think so. Okay. Kids nowadays. Um, so he bought that for 15 grand, and actually he had a concert coming up, and he shared it with fellow people who went to his concert. Um, another person kept it to himself, and then, of course, Justin Roiland, I believe, it, uh, whoever it was, uh, shared it with his staff and got to keep it for himself, so that was good for him. Now, uh, speaking of McDonald's Twitter, the reason they let everybody know, they put out a podcast just recently called The Sauce, and, uh, appropriately named, um, with three-part podcast letting you know what exactly happened from concept to distribution to the horribleness that went on including the uh you know some of the riots that went on at the stores because they wanted sauce i understand cops were called who doesn't want their sauce yeah sure, sure. Well, we got it now so gotta get that sauce. so be sure to just listen to that it's 40 minutes it it's it's funny it's sad it's all the things that are great <laughs> so now we got um so we have multiple packages of these Szechuan sauce. Mm. Mine have... has a little holder. has a little special holder for it. All right. So you have the buttermilk strip. Yes, I got the buttermilk. I actually, I saw this guy, and we didn't plan this today, actually. No, we didn't. We didn't plan this. Um, I, I saw his vehicle, or what looked like his vehicle. So I was like, I wonder if they're going to the McDonald's to get the Szechuan sauce, right? And yeah. so... I pulled up and I was like, uh, and and then yeah, I pulled up behind you and I was like, get out of the way! I need to get my Szechuan sauce. And I was like, oh my so, god! And the people me. laughed at me when I actually you when you were just like you order. just wanted the but sauce. But I pulled up and I was like, I was like, they're like, what do you want? And I was like, Szechuan sauce. It was actually chick, so she just right. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I want Szechuan sauce, and she just she just laughs at me. She's like, just a sauce? And I was like, oh, no, I have the buttermilk. I'm not one of those tenders. people. <laughs> yeah. So I got the buttermilk because I was like, I think that might be the healthier choice than chicken nuggets. Sure. And healthy area. Yeah, we'll I, that maybe er. that pairs better with it. And it's, so it's, it, it could be. And, of course, I just got the standard nugget. 
And we do have some fries here as well. Some people dip the, dip the fries in the sauce. I'm not really that person, but you know, I just to what to do. But I say let's go for it. Yep, so we got the nice black packaging all the way around here with some red, uh, with some redness. Now, mm. smelling it. It smells all right. Yeah, it smells, it smells like gelatinous goo made in the lab somewhere. I said, if you haven't been to uh, pretty much any Chinese restaurant, it smells like, uh, not like the, the Chinese restaurant the itself. The sesame the, sauce or uh, the, the, the sesame chicken sauce is what it smells like. General Tao's sauce? No, 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 because that's spicy. Toes? This isn't spicy. Yeah, it's not at all. So, all right. So yeah, let's start here. Chicken? Orange chicken? No, because that's that's, that's pretty sweet. sweet. That's we'll we'll sweet. see if it's no. if it's really sweet or and if it's dab. maybe dab, it's, dab, it's dab, more dab, of dab. A, the uh, soy sauce. Mm. Hmm. You know it does taste exactly like that uh, that sesame um sesame chicken sauce. Totally works with this uh with this breaded with the breaded uh See, buttermilk it, biscuit whatever. It's all right with the nugget. I say um, there's the barbecue and honey uh, barbecue and sweet and sour right at the top. This is just a little bit below. Yeah, I think sweet and sour is better. I think sweet and sour is better than this. Than this one. Just right under it, though. Just right under it. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and try it now with this strip. I'm going to try it with the nugget here. Let's see what uh, this changes in my mind. Mmm. Mmm. That comes out really good. I, I agree with you. This is a lot better than with the nugget. For sure, without a doubt. I don't really care for it with the nugget. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Like you said, this this breading being a little bit crispier, and because they already have spices with it, it accentuates the spice in the sauce. So I usually eat healthy, so this is this is doubly bad for me. Mm. I'm literally only doing this just just for the people out there. And for me, it's a Monday. And that's it. Let me grab. Grab some fry here. That's all right. Hmm. So yeah, barbecue. Like... You know, barbecue. Uh, barbecue, barbecue. Mm -hmm. You know, honey mustard. I don't. I don't try. I don't really. I'm not a fan. Honey mustard goes good with the fries. It goes good so, with the nuggets. But I'm definitely for the fries. But I'm gonna say for sure. Get it with the buttermilk strips first. Definitely. definitely. And then you can get like a smaller, like a six pack of the nuggets you can try. But it definitely, you get this, both spices work pretty well together. And with the soy sauce, that little bit more of a, uh, of the salty as opposed to the really sweet of all the other sauces. Because this isn't as sweet as I thought it would be. I thought it would be, you know, as sweet as sweet and sour is. Yeah. So uh, I would give it a try. I would give it a try. Now, I'm thinking, because of the way it tastes with the buttermilk, and it's like that uh, sesame the sesame chicken mm. sauce, right. I would buy it. I would buy a bottle of this and use it in my cooking. So I think I think it's it's a buy, certainly. Go out there, try it. If you're a fan, I'm sure you probably have. Oh, yeah. Have, if you're a fan of Rick and Morty, you can have one of these in so, uh, you know, a, a shadow box just a display case or something. Yeah. Keep, it, keep it for uh, sentimental reasons. But it's definitely worth the try. Um, so thank you, Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland. Yeah. For uh, making this happen, for impacting our culture beyond reason. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, we would have to wait until Mulan, the live action. Right. You know, to get to get the sauce, but here we are. Right. And if you like it, continue to get it because it may just not be for a little yeah, time, it depending might on how well it does. Um, which I'm hoping for, because it's, it's always good to... Have to more get variety, new. More yeah, more variety. Yeah. You know, and they might add a burger. You know, who knows? So pour this on top of a Big Mac. I don't know. Maybe something to try later on. Some Franken burgers or stuff. Who knows? All right, cool. But thanks so, for talking foodie with us, and we will eat some more some of the time. <laughs>